an electric car for under $20,000? Sounds that's something that a lot of people have been asking for because a lot of people believe $20,000 is kind of that point where the car is officially cheap. And it looks like there is one right here is going to be available next year from the major manufacturer. I'll tell you all about it coming up next. Welcome to E4 Electric, your number one source of unbiased electric car news. If this is your first time here, go ahead and click on that subscribe button down there so you don't miss anything moving forward. And of course, don't forget to join me on Patreon for the live broadcasts. Okay, so um, this little thing right here, that is Skoda CityGo 4. Um, now, uh, Skoda has been making uh, this car in a gas version, and so they essentially going to be just converting it to the all-electric version, but they are owned by Volkswagen Group. So this essentially is a car from a major manufacturer, and they've announced, and I probably should put up my quotes right here, my stats, uh, because there are quite a few of them that, uh, that came out, um, and this car is going to be available starting early next year, and they'll be uh, taking reservations, I believe, fall of this year. But uh, here it is. Um, again, it, nothing special. This is not going to win any design awards, but again, very European. Uh, four doors, hatchback. Again, not a huge amount of space, but probably, you know, enough. Uh, again, it's a compact car. Um, here's another one charging. And, um, it, you know, people, by the way, about the pricing. Now, they're like, I, I read their press release. There's nothing about pricing in the press release. These are kind of reports from different media outlets. Um, and they're all kind of different. Some say, you know, under 20,000, say, some say uh, under 20,000 euros and so not dollars. And I saw someone, uh, one of the publications, uh, and all major publications saying 15,000 uh, British pounds. But it does look like it's going to be around 20,000 uh, before the incentives. So we're talking about like closer to maybe even 10,000, right? Because uh, um, this brand... Um, uh, and again, Skoda is not here in the United States. We're talking about right now for, you know, Europe. Maybe they'll rebrand it for like a Volkswagen in the United States. But it's definitely, after all the incentives that they offer there in some of the countries, um, can be not just cheap, but very, very cheap. So that is definitely good news. This is where we're finally moving into like having these cars being really affordable. I mean, some people argue that $35,000 Model 3 is not really affordable because, you know, that's uh, that's still up there for a lot of people, especially around the world. But a 20,000 car before the incentives, now we're talking. Um, so, but let's talk about the specs because, you know, specs are as you know, probably not going to be that impressive, but are they going to be impressive enough to justify this car uh, being even sort of realistic, something that you can use, something that most families, or at least half of the families and people can use? So let me tell you about the specs. Of course, before that, I want to remind you that this video and this channel is sponsored by Byton. They're all electric SUV coming to Europe and the US next year as well, later next year, starting only $45,000 before the incentives. Um, and uh, look how easy and fast it is to reserve one. There is no uh, part of the reservation page where you have to put your credit card down because they don't take any payments. You can just do it for free. As you can see, it's very quick. So you should reserve one today. There's a link in the description of this video. All right. So um, let's talk about the specs for this car. First of all, um, 36.8 kilowatt hour. That's what they say in their press release. Now, I don't know why, 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 why uh, manufacturers go with like, you know, point something, because essentially when they are talking about this uh, batteries, um, a lot of times this is just kind of a capacity. Um, I think somebody was talking to me the other day where the 85 kilowatt hour uh, Tesla only has about what, I think 77 kilowatt hours of realistic capacity, even when it's brand new. So I'm not really sure why they're getting like uh, all down to the point something, but it's 36.8. Um, and you can go... Up, you know, the, the realistically, and again, we don't know what the EPA ranges are going to be, but it looks like this car is going to be somewhere between 110 and 120 uh, miles uh, range. Uh, 40 kilowatt uh, charging rate, uh, either standard or CCS plug, which is great. That means that Electrify America uh, is something that uh, they will be able to use. And Ionity, in, actually, I should be talking about Ionity since it's in Europe, um, that, that network. And just like I said, it's coming early next year and the reservations are in fall. Now, this is a big deal. I'm telling you guys, uh, first of all, because it's for, from a legacy manufacturer. So we're talking about, you know, obviously good budget. At the same time, you know, if this is a success, maybe it will start uh, being 
rebranded by maybe Volkswagen and, and being brought here to the United States. And again, that price is awesome and amazing. And I think everybody would be uh, welcoming this, uh, this type of a car. It's not a looker, but 120 miles, you know, I have a I have a plug-in hybrid basically right now. Um, kind of uh, before I'm deciding on the next one uh, on the next all electric car, and I have about 50 miles in range, right? Chevy Volt, and um, rarely, rarely I need to worry about putting and or driving using the gas uh, engine, uh, the tiny little one that I have there, uh, simply because you know, like I drive a lot, but still, you know, with maybe recharging once a day while I'm at home before going out to my you know hockey or soccer game in the evening um, or a date. Uh, you know, I can recharge at home. So it, that that's plenty. So 120, especially in Europe when the distances are just a little bit smaller, actually a lot smaller than uh, some here in the United States, this might actually not be a, a bad solution at all. So uh, let me know, would you buy this car with a, with a 120 mile range, but that's getting kind of like close to 10,000 or definitely 15,000 after incentives? Or do you think that we should just kind of completely move on and only make uh, $20,000 cars when they actually can have a realistic good over 200 mile range? Um, and let me know what you what you think about the design. I'm kind of curious to know. I don't have a major problem with it just because of the price, but um, and it's okay. It's it's not that bad. Anyway, let me know. But don't forget to get on our free VIP list where we send. Um, articles uh every uh, saturday uh that we don't feed just don't have time to feature everything on this channel so it's an additional uh, article that we put in our newsletter but also now we're featuring deal of the month uh, which uh, this month is going to be the most uh, one of the most popular products on evanex.com uh, which is a lighted tea it's on sale uh, at 50 dollars off on their website but if you sign up with our newsletter we will be sending you a discount code for an extra 50 dollars off so together you get a hundred dollars off of a pretty popular item so if you have a model 3 this is something that you might want to get right now it's only available to our newsletter uh, uh, subscri uh subscribers so go to e4electric.com slash vip to get on that list all right guys let me know what you think about this little car would you wish uh, for it to come to the us and if so which brand do you think they should uh, go um go and produce this under other than that see you next time and remember to stay charged mm -hmm.